with our last video, we completed the cover page of our notebook. So today we are going to do the inner covers of our book. First I'll duplicate my second slide like this. So you can use the Ctrl plus D shortcut combination. Now I'm going to create a sample template for the inner cover inside my first slide. So let's get a rectangle from the shapes. And I'm going to draw it like this. Okay, now we need to give a proper color for it. To do this, I'm going to use the fill color option. And from the solid colors, I am going to select the eyedropper again. So let's select a suitable color from the cover page. So I think this color is good. Alright, so now I have completed my template like this. So let's copy this template. And then we can add it to our cover page. So in the previous video also, I taught you all these steps, right? So if you can't remember, please refer the previous video and learn it. Okay, so I have completed one side of my cover. But I need to add an empty paper into this. So I'm going to take a rectangle from the shapes category. I'll keep some outer space and we'll draw the page like this. Now I'm going to add my color as white. So if you don't like white, you can use any other color. And as usual, I'm going to remove the outline as well. Right, now you can do the adjustments properly. Now you can see my binding holes are hidden because of my white paper. So I'll select my paper, then go to the format tab and select send backward. So as you can see one by one it will move properly like this. So now I'll do the final adjustments. At last we'll make our page a bit realistic. So it's better if we can add a small shadow. So I'll go to the shape effects and select a suitable shadow like this. So this is the final look of my page. Right, now with the next video, we are going to complete the other side of my inner covers. As well as that, we are going to learn how to do the page separator in our notebook. So, see you with the next video soon. Thank you very much.